Ed here with the Digital Digest, and today I wanted to share a quick update on my experience with the Microsoft Surface Duo. Now, if you've been following my coverage, you know that inking is not something that I've covered thus far, and today is just going to be a brief look at it, and just really my opinion on the practicality of using this device for pen input, because that is one of the bragging rights that this not folding, but clamshell device has on devices like the Galaxy Z Fold 2, which I will be uh, hopefully getting in very soon for review. Uh, so, is this more practical to use than something like the Samsung Galaxy Note 20 Ultra? Well, the S Pen experience, in my opinion, is very hard to beat, but as uh, the Samsung line of phones, uh, specifically the Note, has evolved, it's gotten taller, more narrow, and that's not ideal for note taking, but that's been Samsung's approach to making the device larger and still hand friendly, palm friendly. Here we have a completely different approach because we have two four by three aspect ratio, 5.6 inch AMOLED displays, and that should lend itself to being uh, more friendly to use if I select the correct pen tip, right? Um, this is sketchbook, by the way, for those of you that are wondering, and performance is good. It's, uh, I'm not using the slim pen, bear that in mind, but there is nothing wrong with it it just doesn't impress me. It doesn't make me say, wow, this is the inking device of the mobile or shall I say Android world. Um, it's not amazing. I think that it's fine, but it's not otherworldly. Excuse my penmanship. Uh, thankfully, that's not part of the performance of my channel, generally speaking. But uh, what I can tell you is that while the larger or wider um, screens that it provides should in theory be better. I don't find that the inking experience is special. Uh, now you have to bear in mind, this device doesn't really have a fully fleshed out inking experience in the way that Samsung, who's had many years uh, to evolve since 2012 with the S Pen experience, Microsoft does not have that under its belt. It does in uh, the Windows realm, although I'm not gonna brag about that experience either, but here in the Android world, it just doesn't. So, uh, you know, the deep dive on this, I'm going to leave to my uh, fiance, if that is something that the audience, all of you really is interested in, uh, because it, it should be something that sets this device apart. I mean, latency is not bad. I don't think it's amazing by any means. Uh, you know, the jitter that we often experience it's fairly well contained, but software will correct that anyway. I know that my fiance has had really more complaints than praise for this, um, and she loved the duo on arrival, so keep that in mind. It's not a matter of she doesn't like Microsoft. She's a Microsoft fan. She's a PC user. Um, so her expectations were th for this were very high, but she did not come away with telling me that this is better than the S Pen experience. And if that's a video that all of you are interested in, trust me, I'll deliver it. Uh, one thing I think is a critical flaw, I mean, obviously taking notes, this is going to be the ideal way. <laughs> oh, don't you love the Duo? This is the ideal way um, to use it, even though right now it doesn't even want to be used, right? Um, and these are the bugs I'm talking about. You can blame me. That's all right. Uh, I don't mind. Blame me. But... So this would be the ideal way to use it, right? But that's not gonna change anything uh, at the end of the day. And if you wanted to really leverage this, unfortunately, the true way, in my opinion, would be to span it across both screens. But as you know, spanning it across both screens is going to be a complete failure uh, with that split in the center. And there you have it. And that's another example. I know this is just sketchbook, um, there are a lot of other, well, not that many, but a decent amount of apps out there that you can choose from, but the point is still the same. Uh, this does not, in my opinion, carry the Surface uh, lineage in terms of inking. Uh, this is not a game changer when it comes to inking, so anyone who argues otherwise, if they have a reason, great, but for me, um, I will personally pick uh, a note over this when it comes to the inking experience. If I want something larger, that's what tablets are for, whether it's in the form of a Surface Pro, a Pro X, or the new Galaxy Tab S7 Plus 
that I'll also be covering, or my older Tab S6, which is still excellent. So it's really a matter, a matter excuse me, of personal preference. But what I can tell you, again, in this brief, quick look at inking, is that I do not feel that this is a game-changing element of the Duo. I thought it would be a tremendous edge over something like the Galaxy Z Fold 2, but in my experience with it, and again, I'm reiterating, and in my fiance's experience with it, she would not, at least thus far from what I know, pick this device because it can ink, because the inking experience, again, with the screens being split, is less than ideal. It's fine for general note taking, but if you think you're going to, you know, express as an artist on this, I wish you all the best because the displays are still tiny, granted they're wider. And this is something I wanted to address because a lot of people think that this is the one of the defining elements uh, that this brings because of the durability of having glass on the display, unlike folding phones that don't have that and can't uh, support stylus input. So that was it. I just thought it was important to know, be aware of, and this isn't the only pen I've tested on here. I have, you know, a Vio pen. Granted, Vio isn't as mainstream uh, as it once was. I have my HP styluses as well. So other pens have been tested. Granted, no slim pen, but I can tell you right now, this is not a game changer at, at present. I mean, it's nice that it has pen input, I would not pick this because it has pen input. This is still all about having dual screens for multitasking, and even there, you're gonna be hard pressed with the amount of bugs at present that Microsoft has yet to rectify and take care of. Any questions or comments, please feel free to post them, hit that like button, and as usual, please feel free to subscribe. Later.